banged right through the end zone. Barnes and Taylor Tatum. And some confusion right away. The handoff finally. So they lose five on the first play. Run it again. Bouncing off, folks, is Taylor Tatum, the true freshman from Long. Barnes the back. Tennessee rushes five. Ball out quickly on a slant, and it's complete. And it's Deion Burks has been the top target so far. The power's down. Remember, they run a very similar offense that Tennessee runs. First down throw near side wide. Tried to find it. Second and ten. Arnold hands it off inside. How good is this Tennessee defense? The secondary has been great, but inexperienced coming into the year. And third and nine, Arnold escapes. Can he get there? Spun down short of the marker. Pulls if they run a play. On the move, Arnold flips it. Incomplete. Threw it into traffic, and it was broken up by McCoy. Play fake. They pitch it to the edge, and that's Chris Brazel who makes the catch. Tackle immediately. In just his fifth career start. Protected well, but he spins out. Trying to create on the move. Makes a couple of man miss. Nico Iamaliava, even though he is 6'6, is hard to catch and hard to get the with that kind of length. Makes it third and two, and they feed Dylan Sampson as well to a great start. The feature back is smothered for the Aussie Jackson Ross. That was just the Volunteers' second three and out so far. He can kick it with either foot. He chooses the right one this time and knocks it toward the coffin quarter. But it'll bounce into the end zone. They had it semi-surrounded, but the ball got past facing against a deep TNC front. They're rotating bodies. Swallowed up and smashed to the ground by Tyree West. Yep. Very, very deep, very talented, very disruptive. Third and 16, Arnold trying to make something happen. Flips it, caught by Jake Roberts, the tight end for a short game, but not a squirrel white. Back to return the punt of the lefty. Not a very deep one. White has a running start and stumbles out of bounds. And again, Nico Iamaliava and the ball from the first time. In the here. Sampson needs to pick his way. And they're all eyes on Dylan Sampson because number six, the junior out of Baton Rouge. Since January, they're flying right now. Nico on the move, flips it. Catch made and immediately Holden stays the tight end and six. They drop off in coverage. They dump it down to Squirrel. Wide and Squirrel is swallowed up. And he can't do it. Someone of his staff paid a price there. He got knocked sideways. So the second punt already for Ross only had two in the first three games and a fair catch made by Peyton Bowen, a four Ole Miss offense than anyone else. Quick pitch to the perimeter there. That's Deion Burks with his second catch. They'll take that. Holding company that time, just a quick ball, get it out to the outside. Jet sweep, hand it off to Burks, who shows that acceleration. He's a dude who's short, but receiver, he's been big. On the play fake, Arnold drops back from the pocket and takes his first downfield shot and threw it right into the hands of McCoy. Jerron McCoy spun down in Oklahoma Territory first. Well, they cash it in so far. It was a first down handoff to Deshaun Bishop, redshirt freshman from right there and knocked on fourth down with their own offense, the 48, and now here at midfield after the pick. Play fake on second down. Iamaliava across the middle. Brew McCoy is loose. Brew McCoy weaving through the secondary, sets up Tennessee first and goal first. Big tight end Kitzelman is in the backfield as well. OU defense crowding the line. Crown trying to make it tough on Ian Maliaba. Breaking a tackle, diving forward for a couple of yards is Bishop. Or check it, that's McCoy. White far left on second and goal. Yamaliava zipped into the back of the end zone. A dangerous throw. Can I Walker broke it up into third and goal? Yamaliava trying to escape and create on the run. He'll be tracked down and dropped right at the line of scrimmage. Danny Stutzman. First year starting kicker. Redshirted a year ago. Dude, I cannot wait to get down there. Herbieville boots it away, and it's a touchback. Can he respond to that interception?
He did respond last game against Tulane. And this time Arnold on a slant just off the fingertips of Brennan Thompson through a pick six. It's really the mark of a great quarterback after a mistake. How do you respond on that next opportunity? Three for seven so far. They hand it off. Barnes gets the edge. And Barnes has got a first down. Hammered hard out near midfield. Another jet sweep trying to get around the right edge this time. And that's Burke showing the quicks. Another nice second and three. Tatum, the freshman, hammers forward, takes another big shot, but it's a first down. And there's number eight again, lost the ball. It bounced right back to him. A fortune, Seth Fortell, talking about the urgency, the importance of first downs, getting four or five yards like they did that time. Makes it easier. And there's a second down catch by Bauer Sharp. The transfer to space in the middle and gets a quick throw. Arnold again, a short throw. This Oklahoma offense, as a flag comes in, they're going to get a pass interference call on Ricky Gibson, the third. Seventh play of him, good looking drive. Another play fake. Short throw across the middle. He zips the dart, trying to find too cautious at times in the first three games. From the pocket, delivers a strike, and there's Burks again. He has been the main weapon again tonight. And this third and one, Barnes is the back. Nothing. We talked about running into the Chief of all those big bodies. Tyler Keltner, the field goal kicker, back up at Florida State last year, but a good career at East Tennessee State before that. So his third school won the kicking job and knocks it right through. Ten so we'll, we'll keep a close eye on how he is doing. Zach Schmidt, kick on specialist, boots it away. We talked about the experience of the book tonight. So the balls take over. 3-3 game at the 25. And a pre-snap penalty. The left guard. It would be tough. Fake it to Sampson. Pitch it on the edge to Squirrel White. And who makes a cut and dives forward. He's near the marker. See where they'll spot him. Looks like a first quarter. The Amaliava off the play. Fake right down the seam. And it's caught by Dante Thornton. A foot race. They won't catch him. 66 to the house. By a touchdown here. Confidence in himself, but it's not about him. He's very humble. It's about the collective, about the team. Yep. And the teammates already love that about him as well. well. They need to put a little drive together. Final play of the first quarter. Arnold's on the move, slings it across the middle, and the catch is made by Brennan Thompson. Been targeting him a lot with this. There's a few more injured guys that hope to get healthier. That was one of the stories, but it looks like Nick Anderson is done for the night. The eight on the year. That's 115th in the country. Tough to just drive the ball against this kind of defense. You need big plays. Fires a darn out there off the heel on short throws by Arnold. Third and ten now. Got pressure and fires downfield over the head of Thompson. They brought some heat so far this season. Luke Elzinga angles the punt nicely, but it will carry into the end zone for a touch. So the ball is backed up at the 10. And Maliava on the move and finds a man, but threw it behind him. Feed Dylan Sampson, who is knocked down, quick down. Oklahoma some pressure, backside, ball is loose, a scramble for it, a strip sack, and Ethan Downs recovers it. Take it to Barnes, heavy traffic, and Arnold just bowls back to the line of scrimmage into big Omari Thomas and Joshua Joseph. That, that is a QB. Almost, oh my gosh, they got a fumble. He lost that football. Tennessee recovered it. Playoff, and then Josephs gets the ball out with a heads up play to rip it away from Arnold. Brown trying to make it tough on the volunteer offense. That is a stunt. Bishop had a hole. Quick burst. And Deshaun Bishop knocked down right near the marker. Bunch of folks in the backfield. Bishop running behind blockers, bangs forward. It's a power formation and easily makes the first down. 
Pitch to the edge. Pitch made by Thornton. The big play earlier brought down by. Pitch to the edge. Bishop makes a cut. He's really running well. It's been Dylan Sampson as the two tight ends in the formation. Play fake. Iamaliava. Pocket collapses. And he'll be sacked for the second time tonight. Pretty good coverage. Yeah, Cameron Selden rotates in. They fake it to him. Iamaliava in traffic delivers across the middle. Incomplete for Brazel. Sooners come after him. It's a screen. And they shut it down. Came flying in. That was the play designed for tennis. Yazi drives one. Beautiful kick. Can he get it to check? Wow. That is absolute perfection. You cannot execute it any better than. Very careful time here. Be careful if you're Oklahoma. Hand off in the end zone. Did he get out? Javante Barnes was stopped. Did not. Safety for Tennessee. Second and six from the 10 yard line. White comes across in motion. Yamaliava rolling and cannot escape. That's an excellent tackle. Mendes job. Tennessee just one of six on third down. They had that, that sack on the third down rush. They're just going to try to run for it and he doesn't get it. Bishop is stacked up in this OU defense. Linebacker moving around like that. He's the guy that makes the defensive calls on the field with the helmet communication. And the punt fielded by Bowen, who falls back. Out uh, the commanders and the Bengals. Arnold trying to get in track. They get it to the perimeter. They get a block, but volunteers close it down and they trap him. At that time. Arnold on the move. Pressure and just has to throw it away. Got outside the pocket. He Run straight back, escapes the pocket, and now makes a late throw off the hands of Sharp, the tight end. And this offense that didn't reach 200 yards in any of their first year, three games, first time in 10 years they've gone back to back to back games without 200 yards. It's a first down run. It's been a quiet night so far for Dylan Sampson. Picks up a couple there. It's in community college transfer. They need nine. And the Sooners swarm them, knock the ball loose. They fall on it. For the second time tonight, Iamaliava hit, fumbles, and it's a takeaway. Off the fake, Arnold makes a long sideline throw. The pressure enough to affect it. Still a live ball. That's a lot, yeah. Is is it, it, yeah, they have nine. The, yeah, it's Tennessee. Not a forward pass. That's so. Tennessee football. Jacoby Thomas has come up with it. And again, Oklahoma handed a turnover by the defense. Gives it back. The opener. Three turnovers all on, on Jackson Arnold, unfortunately. See if his counterpart, Iamaliava, can make them pay. Sampson has had very little room to run. Sooners have really held up in run defense. It, Sampson, spin move, and he moves inside the 40. Stopped a couple more uh, yards. And first down, Sampson he likes that spin move, and that's why he's been so successful through the first three games. Very hard to tackle. Sampson, this time, met quickly in the hole by Spears Jennings from up from the safety spot. Four receiver look. Yamaliava on the pitch. Sampson. Knocked down, but he gets the first down. Another tackle by Spears. Blitz off to his right with that corner. Sampson again breaks a tackle. Dylan Sampson into the secondary and down to the one as they deliver some serious body shots now. 16 more. How about the contact balance right there? What a job of shaking off that would-be tackler by Sampson. Spins, freeze, Dutchman tried to grab him in the backfield. They do stop him just short of the goal line. Now a late, is it a late signal on the far side? So one official start to signal touchdown. We're having a conference. Oh, the graphic says so. The band is playing. And it is a touchdown. Sampson got into the end. 
And the man named Samson, in fact, showing his strength and power. Eight straight carries for 46 in the touch. Let's take a look at the AT&T clicker. Stutzman right here. This is how you draw it up if you're trying to play goal line stand. I mean, look at the penetration, right? I mean, that, that's it. That's, that's the All-American linebacker. You're going to make a play. But give credit to, again, Sampson with that spin move that he is becoming well-known for. Spins out of that. And then the leg drive keeps his body up and scores a touchdown. The last two runs were fantastic by him. He had a couple on that drive. So behind the six on second and 14, and Michael Hawkins takes off. Slippery skips a tackle there. Hawkins chased. Trying to make something happen on the move and will skip out of bounds. 15 seconds to go. That does stop the clock without the timeout. It's a pretty good one. Line drive and White retreats. Makes an over-the-shoulder grab and stumbles down at the 10-yard line. That will probably yeah, interesting to see what they do. Will be. Will be because it's been everybody. Not just the offensive line. It's been Arnold's decision-making. Haven't been able to settle in, haven't been able to get their running game going, gets the ball. Ian Maliava, one nice touchdown strike to Thornton. Other than that, he's been workmanlike and efficient and handed the ball off a lot. And the Tennessee ground game, punishing performance at the end of the half, they handed off. And Sampson's got it again. He was the man on that drive, carried it every time. And they moved down the field, and the first... Yamaleava bobbled the snap, collects it, delivers a pitch along the near sideline, and it's a first down catch by Holden. Pitch it on the edge. Brew McCoy throws his strength as he powers ahead. Des Malone forces him out. Hand it off to Sampson inside. He spins again. This time stopped just short of the marker. Sampson again, this time met in the backfield by Trace Ford. Tennessee behind the six, facing pressure on second and 14. Iamaliava sees a man open and finds him. Thornton, who scored earlier, a second huge chunk play down inside the 10. But there is a flag down, a couple of them. Going to come back into it, help this OU defense. Hand off inside. Very conservative call. Peyton Bowen makes receivers off to his right. He's on the move. Retreating, and we'll just throw it away. So a good sequence for Oklahoma's defense that time. Great. Another low rugby-style boot, and Bowen retreats, slips, eludes one man, takes a shot, and is finally knocked out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Quick, or he'll scramble. From the pocket, retreating into the end zone and just throws it away. Pressured again by Bryson Eason, but just nope. Three turnovers, and now Hawkins gets his chance, and that's Deion Burks trying to help him out, making the play, but giving up two points. And Tennessee, meanwhile, 18 straight quarters without allowing an offensive touchdown. That's like the longest streak in, in decades. Will the Sooners find the end zone tonight? You go back to the Vanderbilt regular season finale. They basically give up a touchdown in garbage time and a big win. Nothing in the bowl game and nothing so far. How much fun were they? The year after Peyton moved on, T. T. Martin gets it done. Deshaun Bishop. He watched Sampson be the workhorse. It's a downfield throw. It's McCoy. And he's got it. Beautiful ball. Right there. Right back to the ground. The Amali Kirk. I mean, has it been perfect? No, he got hit and fumbled. Dance. Oh, he's been great. Here comes a blitz right here. Yeah, he runs right into the teeth of it, and they should stop right at the line of scrimmage. No. Bishop, not much again as Lewis Carter knocked him down. In all three phases. Very, very solid personality tonight. And their SEC opener. Boy, Oklahoma even went. Defense to go along with Nico in that offense? The answer is absolute. And so Michael Hawkins Jr. sprinting out. Took a hand up near the helmet. I don't see it. Now they're going to throw a flag. There wasn't one. It came in late. It's every time you have it. I mean, you're, you can ask. 17 yard, but a 12 yards is the longest pass. You, yeah, right, right. You can ask. 
Hawkins delivers. Another one of those underneath throws, and Thompson makes the catch. Going to be third down. Holly. And this defense just comes downhill, and a third down run goes nowhere so far tonight. Punt fair caught and at the 15 yard line. There is a flat view. Sampson stopped behind the line. And bursting through a crease in Sampson that time. Stopped about five yards short. They stopped the, the pass game. There's another completion. They'll move right. the sticks in OU territory. But, but you know. They still snapped it with 16 seconds on the play clock. Another very high percentage throw to Brew McCoy. That downfield strike into traffic. McCoy was well covered that time on the sidelines. Volunteer. They just get it off. Fia Maliava escapes and now fires into the dirt incomplete and it's fourth down Bowen knocked out of bounds but when you play almost perfect it's easier to be a perfectionist because he hadn't had left set the record for rookie assist yeah Hawkins zips it across the middle and that's Bauer sharp that'll be the so a two back look and they hand it off to Barnes who's met in the backfield you hear him yelling all the way. Three yards before contact, zero. Look out. Hawkins is going backwards, and he's dropped for a big loss. And they go backwards 16 yards. Hawkins trying to scramble and knock down at the 30 in what's going to be. White will let this one bounce out of bounds. Figure to change after today. Bishop. Patiently picks his way for a couple yards off the right. And they get a nice little cut and skipping for a first down. Bishop's shown himself to be an excellent compliment to Dylan's good downfield. And it's a contested attempt. They're way over the head, though, of Brazel, who's guarded by the true in. Oh. No. He's got it again. Red shirt freshman. He's right there from Knoxville. That time he's gonna take a loss of a few yards. And they keep it on the ground, and Bishop spun backwards and takes another loss. And I Walker and boots it away. Bowen's going to try it. Escapes momentarily and is knocked down at the 32. Remember, includes on January 20th. Hawkins a lot of time for a change until he was eventually pressured and delivers a ball to the dirt. Goes. In year one, that's for sure. It's a low throw caught by tight end Sharp. Oh, for Hawkins beginning to feel his way into this game here. That's a strike to Chris Petaway, or, and he's got to picked up 17. Now he leaves the pocket and is going to be hit, knocked forward for a short game. Showing some courage against before he was removed before halftime. Big fella bouncing off the man. Bauer sharp. Going to throw forward and third and short. And a long pitch to the sidelines is caught for a first down by Zion Reagan. Can they find the end then? Can they end the Tennessee's streak of 19 consecutive quarters without allowing an offensive touchdown? He's retreating, and Hawkins just fires it into the bench, chased by Peely. Good idea to get rid of the ball when Peel. Hawkins back pedals, still got it. Scampers ahead, heading for the end zone, and he'll be knocked down right near the goal line. Touchdown! Oklahoma finds the end zone and ends Tennessee's streak. Hawkins, keeper all the way. And he's going to take a loss flying off the edge was Arian Carter, the starting linebacker still out there at all. Hawkins flips it short and it's caught for a touchdown by Barnes. And now Oklahoma officially. And the long conversion slides wide right. So they go for two, take enough. Hilda makes the fair catch. All state buses here. And Malava hands off inside. Maybe that was the plan all along. Ah, no. 
And Maliava pitches it on the edge. And it's Miles gets him and knocked down. Third long handoff inside. Boots it down there and Owen makes the catch and tries to make something happen and will be forced out after a short game. Big showdown. Hawkins. Now he's pressured and brought down. This Tennessee front has not throttled back. Hawkins trying to make something happen again outside the pocket. Gets a block and scoots out of bounds. There's so much depth and so much talent. You get out there. First down. They bring pressure again. Gets it away. But broken up underneath. Coming across was Will Brooks. The safety to make that play. Oh, they roll the pocket out, trying to get some time, and a downfield pitch is over the head of Petaway that time. He had him open. Today, where's Inge? I got to talk to him. <laughs> Very interesting guy. On the slant there, complete looking for Squirrel White. Says we have to have every game and every rep they get. Opponents would say, wait a second, Kirk. The farther they get from the football, maybe Tennessee's a little bit deeper by Ian Maliavo, who lowers his shoulder. He says, I'm going to keep these sticks moving. Offensive line was trying to convince Heupel to go for it. They're a little frustrated. They chose to take the three. Don't fret. Put on more steam. I remember that one. That's one of your favorites. Yeah. Protect, protect your passer. And... On the edge. Hawkins completes it. Far side. Head away. And he continues to impress. They watch it. Across the middle is a strike. Head away running free. Makes a cut, and Jack West Petaway down to the 15-yard line. That field goal kept it a two-score game. Hawkins has time in the pocket for once. Now it's closing down. Escapes. Hit from behind. Knocked down after about a four-yard gain at the 11. And escaping and scanning and flipping. Incomplete. To show the coaching staff and these fans that he is ready for the moment. Pressure immediately. He escapes it. Running for his life and running for a first down. Scooting around the end zone there. Hawkins, heavy pressure. Ball comes up in his hand there. Pressure by Carter. It's recovered by an offensive lineman there. They, did it slip out of his hands? Now Tennessee's running the other way. And spot, no forced penalty from the previous spot. They fake it to Barnes. Hawkins now flips it high. Caught. And Jake Roberts, the tight end, lost the ball at the end. They're going to spot him down. To On third and goal. Hawkins escapes and goes head over heels. Touchdown, Oklahoma. The young fella down in the field paid a heavy price but made an acrobatic move there. Wow. This, this kid's your quarterback. It is, this is the quarterback right here, number nine, moving on into next week. This kid's done enough in these handful of series in the second half. This is what it's all about right here. This kid is fighting for every inch. What a job of improvising and then holding on to the football as he goes. I remember Sam Bradford one time in Bedlam went up over top that. like that. Remember that? That's what it reminded me of in that, in that uniform. But what, a, again an effort to try to find a way to get that ball into the end zone They're whatever sure it takes scored. I, it'd be nice if he did just give it that to him, will you i don't care where he, where the spot is well the head is down the ball is obscured there man there was a huge cheer every oklahoma fan most of them most of them have stayed really appreciating the grit and the effort heck yeah of this quarterback and this offense really if it is a touchdown, they'll go for two, of course, and try to make it an eight-point game, set up for an onside kick. Yeah. Well, they were stopped short in that last possession and, and settled for three on fourth and one. You know, that it kept it a two-score game. Yep. Touchdown really puts yeah. it away. Yeah. See if he can get an angle that shows whether or not that ball got across. He hasn't landed there. And the progressive pylon cam. Did it break the plane? His body sure broke the plane. Yeah, I think it did. As he came down, if you slow it down at impact when he hits the ground, I think as he went 
end over end. The ball looked like it did just break the plane. Bill, how do you see this? Does the I ball agree stand? With Kurt there. Yeah. As, as he turned over there, you know, all it takes is a lace of the ball to break the plane of the goal line. And I, I, I go with the touchdown on this one. Uh, just holding on to the ball, right? He said it, yeah. Here we go, right here. Keep going. Once he lands, right there, doesn't it look like it broke the mm -hmm. plane? So right close. on the line. So Edge close. of the line. Might be the laces, as Bill said. Zero touchdowns for this Tennessee defense. We talked all night about 19 quarters versus non-mobile quarterbacks. And then two touchdowns in one quarter against a mobile quarterback. So if you're looking for maybe where's a potential concern, they look so good these first four weeks, maybe maybe it's that. The Jalen Milrow down the road. But it's a close call for replay. Can you say when a dude comes into the game as a backup and plays well and somersaults in, he lands to get the benefit of the doubt. Can that, is that in the replay officials rule book? <laughs> <laughs> they got it's a call not, like this. It's not in the rule book, I understand, Chris. Bill. I understand. But I, I can it's tell you sometimes uh, <laughs> human uh, feelings go into it. I don't know how you... Whatever the, the call in the stands to touch that. I don't know how you look at that. The player was short of the oh, line again. Oh, wow. It'll be fourth down at that spot. No Oklahoma sentimental feelings at all for this crew, Bill. Zero. All, all business. <laughs> Acute effort. Somersault. Love it. Bring the ball back. They were on the six-inch line earlier. What are we now, two-inch line? What, what's he got for an encore? Can he just go jump over the pile? How about a quarterback sneak? In? Old school, under center quarterback sneak. Healy comes back out there. This Tennessee defense is not going to surrender those two inches easily. It's fourth down. Yeah. Fourth down. Try to... That play's still in... Still can, they still practice getting under the center, right, on these two and three inch to Oof. game. So Hawkins is coming out of the game after having that... A touchdown taken out by replay. Jackson Arnold, who's a very physical running quarterback, he goes in there. Interesting move. And all eyes are going to be on him. He got two tight ends in the game. His first action since late in the second quarter. Not going to be under center. Shotgun. So Arnold in there now. I, don't, I just don't know why you go gun on the six-inch line. And a lot of people do it. Except for Jalen Hurts. Ball's crowding the line. Handoff in the middle. No. He's going to be stopped. Wait a second. Oh, now, now they say, okay. It took a little conference. It looks like he did land just across the goal line. You got to be patient with these, these officials, I guess. Interesting to take nine out of the game for this play. To hand it off. Right? To hand it off, yeah. Now, he does, you can see him pretty good here. He, some penetration, bounces off of it. Doesn't give up on it. Eventually, Barnes gets into the end zone. Hawkins is back out there for the two-point conversion as they go for Dose, brought to you by Dos Equis. And it's to make it an eight-point game, which would give you a chance to make an onside kick. And still have three timeouts to work with. But they got to hurry. I think Hawkins wants the ball in the left hash. The play clock wound down. No, they, they, was concerned. Yeah, they, they yeah. got to get the spot of the ball before they can work about worry about the play clock. They're going to take a peek at the previous play to see if he was up before he broke the plane. For another for look. his knee touch before. Was Barnes? I mean, he's hit immediately. It worked hard to get in there. He can't tell from that angle if he was down. I guess it's going to stand. So Hawkins again back in there, looking to throw for it, and now scramble for it, and he'll be brought down. Arian Carter makes the play. The lead is 10, and they fall it down there and make the recovery. It's Nimrod. Josh played his cards very close.
He doesn't share a lot, but you know that coming back to this state. And then, then you can come over and see some of these assistants that you're familiar with on the OU side. It was a growth experience, and it took him to where he is right now. That forced change to leave Norman. Yamali Abe has come to the road and played really well, and he's not done. Nico will slide down, but what an impressive performance by this young quarterback. Well, for three games, it was the Tennessee Waltz. It was easy. This was not. But Josh Heupel comes home and goes home now back to Knoxville with a 10-point victory. Nice exchange with Brett Venables there. Very close. Mutual respect there big time. Big time.